Hey guys and welcome back again and today we'll be doing the radiometric corrections. So what we're doing in radiometric corrections is we're basically um, changing the digital numbers from 0 to 256 into our at sensor radiance, meaning our like um, watts to meter squared. Uh, so we're changing useless pixel values that don't mean anything into uh, pixels that do actually mean something. <laughs> So in order to do that, all we have to do first is we go into our radiometric correction and then we want to go into the apply gain and offset. Uh, we just want to be going into the layer that we have. Uh, that's all okay. And then we just want to choose a place to export this. That's all we want to do. Very, very simple. And then as soon as we do that, our pixels will no longer be in digital numbers. Now they'll be in um, at sensor radi uh, radiance. So we'll have something a bit like this. And then from this, what we can then do as more um, radiometric correcting, we can then reduce the value of darker, um, uh, we want to reduce atmospheric effects. So in atmospheric effects are anything that blurs or like blackens an image to prevent light from get to the, getting to the sensor, right? So uh, what we have to do in this image, uh, if I just zoom in for you, we want to take the darkest feature, so for that, that would be this black lake right here. It looks like oil almost. Um, so we want to select this black area, and we want to subtract this blackness from the rest of the map from every single wavelength. So in order to do that, we just need to go down to display, and then profiles, and then spectral. And so we just want to select a place, let me just make sure you have the pointer selected. Select a place where it's darkest, so for me that's the lake. And then I just want to export this as an ASCII file. And so that'll give me something a bit like uh, radiometric. That'll give me something a bit like this. So these are the darkest values per wavelength. That's what these are. So I want to subtract each of these values from um, from each of the wavelengths, right? That's what I want to do. So if I go down here into dark subtraction, I can then select on the layer I just created. Uh, I'm pretending I've called it the uh, the same thing as the previous one, but I called it um, underscore corrected. Uh, then I can go to user value. This is the subtraction method that we've been using. So as you can see here, these are the seven bands uh, that the this image is using. So um, we're talking about these, these bands are at zero because we haven't subtracted anything. So if I just click on band one and I can change this value, let me just uh, copy this number, band one. So band one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So band one, I wanna be erasing this much and you can see it got updated. And then band two, I wanna put in this much uh, band three, same thing. Uh, I'll just go through and do this. And uh, while I'm doing this, let me just also tell you that in geometric uh, corrections, um, what you're doing in that is uh, you're trying to like line up an old picture with a new picture. So if you took a picture at say like 2010, right, you want the picture in 2018 to both have the exact same uh, scale and where everything is. So that's what we're doing in geometric corrections. It's pretty much just timing uh, corrections, timing and placement corrections. Whereas radiometric is atmospheric and noise correction. We're getting rid of all the extra noise, all the extra stuff that we don't want to be concerned with. Anyway, so we have this all done and now we can just go ahead and export it. So choose the location wherever you want to put it. So uh, doing that, you should then get something a little like this. And although you can't really see the difference, this value, uh, the although I can't see this and you can't see this, the computer can see that the difference, that this image is actually slightly brighter because we've taken off the darkest value for each of the pixels, but for, not for each of the pixels, uh, for each of the wavelengths per pixel. So this image is slightly brighter now, and we've done dark subtraction. We've done radiometric correction. Um, so now all of the pixels are no longer digital numbers. They are now at sensor radiance. Um, and
and all the pixels are a lot more clear uh, to the computer, to the sensor, because we've gotten rid of all the atmospheric uh, conditions, which of what I've said before, they're like, um, you know, uh, uh, highly dense things in the atmosphere. Like if you have a satellite going over, you want the, you you don't want to pick up all the atmospheric stuff between you and what you're sensing. That can be anything in the air, whatever it may be. Um, in terms of like particles, it might be dust or something. So that's generally what we're doing. And once you've done all of this, you've done geometric and radiometric corrections. So I hope you guys have learned something uh, from all this and stay tuned for more, I guess. So good luck, guys.